yo what's good everybody welcome back to the channel this is really pretty much the same video with the with the npc and the ghost box i'm actually going out of town so i'm trying to record as much as i can to push out this content for you guys because i know i'm not going to have time to do it but like i promised before i will give you guys a overview of the car and uh everything that's done to it from basically like everything so so this is my 1993 ej1 we just call it an eg because that's just common you know what i mean but this is a 93 ej1 civic ex coupe right hand drive converted me and my brother david that passed away did it the car was painted in the backyard you guys can see the whole process on my you uh on my ig page before i had like youtube and all that stuff uh, i had over 130 something cars this is the only car that i actually kept and put most of my time and effort and money into it uh i told myself i wasn't gonna get any more hondas after this I actually built this car for my sister that passed away. That's her right there. That's Jen Jen. Uh, purple was her favorite color. That's how I came up with the whole teal and purple scheme. And then it just like went everywhere. Everybody started doing it. But uh, like I said, 93 EJ1 Civic. It does have a JDM K20 Type R full swap motor and gearbox so these are these are arrow catch bonnet latch or whatever i said i'm gonna go over everything hopefully my battery don't die but these are made by arrow catch this is a oem bonnet bra which i cut and had my upholstery guy just like made made like a little like sold thing right here so it won't rip uh k20a type r motor k20a type r gearbox precision 6266 journal turbo full race turbo turbo manifold uh dual dual 44 tile tile waste gates uh gearbox is is stock half sport ek2 mounts tough fab electrical water pump chase bay tuck radiator dash m16 lines skunk 2 ultra intake manifold two liter spacer k-tune upper water neck level seven uh catch can thing uh keen fab keen fab caps can and overflow tank together hybrid racing fuel rail high i just said it uh gauge same thing with the fuel the fuel pressure regulator that's down there that's also hybrid racing uh hide hybrid <laughs> no i'm doing way too much talking but same thing with the Shift the cables is also hybrid racing. Same with the D10 springs that are inside the transmission gearbox. I'm trying to like talk proper for all of the for all of, for all of the non Jamaican people out there. Uh, <clears throat> hand data four port boost controller, all push fittings, keen fab, keen fab up pipes, keen fab. Uh, dual wastegate pipes i believe i said full race turbo manifold already keen fab intercooler intercooler tubing with vibrance vibrance uh hd clamps right here on both sides k-tune 90 mil throttle body uh tough fab electrical water pump with all of the dash dash 16 lines s2000 alternator uh what else mpc scrub bar uh car was painted about four years ago it is uh 
It is uh, ceramic coated. The wheels are Desmond, Rugged Masters, 16 by eight with a 35 offset with Falcon, Falcon tires, uh, USDM Type R five lug, 32 millimeter suspension uh, with, with like skunk two, everything skunk two, upper control arms, skunk two, low control arms, skunk two, compliance bushings, everything is uh spherical like like not that regular like bushing everything's spherical uh brand new tie rods all that stuff uh pci four inch side skirts ebay red and ebay red and clears on when we get down below the car we have we have mpc the lower brace and uh and the control arms with uh reaction coils all back there the pexi war sport 2 exhaust was not connected because i'm upright uh let's go inside the car uh jdm dc2 recaro seats comes comes in the integra with custom custom rails because i'm a big guy so so these seats sit a lot lower than the OEM rails. Hybrid racing, shift, uh, shifter box. Uh, Nardio wheel, 330 millimeters. AM, AM air and fuel, oil, boost gauge, wire wear, switch panel paired with the aim dash so this is my aim dash right here it has many different faces you can set it up any face you want from inside the program all right uh all black interior black dash is the ex so has power windows power locks sunroof all my shit work mugen pedals uh jdm jdm cut cut center console the clear hybrid racing box the front end are vegan headlights very hard to find they're rare with oem oem clear corners from stanley Stanley OEM corners. The front lip is Rocket Dancer. You can find that from ICB Motorsports. The intercooler is also it's also full race. Downstar hardware everywhere. Uh, uh what else? What else? Uh, Downstar uh brake brake what you call it? Brake booster delete. Uh, S2000 clutch reservoir with the plate plays also from downstar uh reaction coilovers 32 way full 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 adjustable ngk bonnet dampers uh i'm gonna have to go over the motor motor that's a whole list uh i think i pretty much know it by heart though the head is fully built with uh with a Ferrera, either 5,000 or 6,000 series flat valves, titanium retainers, dual valve springs and retainers, all that stuff. Uh, Aries 11, five to one pistons. The block is bored over 0.5, so it's 80, 86 and a half. Uh, I had to pull up the email. So, like I said, it is a JDM Type R full swap, uh, drag cartel modified timing crank, like pulley, because the OEM K series have like a little pin, and all of that bouncing off the red limiter will cause that pin to break, and there go your timing chain and your motor. So, so I bought the uh, drag cartel version that has that has the keyway, uh, <clears throat> brand new drag cartel lower time and chain guides, drag cartel, pivot pin, 
Ferrera 80 pound dual springs and retainers, titanium retainers kit, 6,000 volt, 6,000 series valves, 30 millimeter, uh, the super damper crank pulley right there, uh, brand new valve seals, Aries 11.5 to 1, 86 and a half pistons. The pistons have the upgraded wrist pins that goes on the on the rods. The motor is built by Alex from AA, AA Performance. I have a whole video on that too. You guys can check it out. Uh, wire work, tuck over, over the valve cover, engine harness. A uh, whole bunch of like little nicks and stuff like this. The skunk two timing cover. Uh, Passport mounts. The valve cover is powder coated by VH powder coating and Broward. The turbo is powder coated by Blast, Blast coating. The fuel lines are dash six to a E85 Freak pump right there. The car is tuned on E85. It makes 606. Uh, I could have made more, but I also ran out of fuel because of my, my smaller line and fuel pump. Plus also, I, I didn't really want that much power because the gearbox is stock. I am in the process of uh, building a gearbox. You know, it just costs money. Uh, I think that's it, man. That was a quick little rundown, rundown, you know? Quick little rundown of the coupe. Quick little rundown of the coupe. I think I covered everything. I believe I did. If I missed something, my bad. The back seats. Yeah, so my phone did die. <laughs> uh, if anybody's wondering, this is what I use to record most of all my videos. It's a, it's a GoPro and Hero 9. Uh, I think I was at the back seats. So yeah, back seats are just stock. Stock OEM seats is wrapped in leather. Uh, else from that, I think that's it, man. Uh, oh no. It does have an action clutch, twin disc. That's in here. Action clutch and twin disc. Use that discount code in the description. Best clutch, hand down. Uh, and it has 2200 cc OS, OS injection uh, injectors right there. Those are the injectors, 2200 cc's. Uh, I think that's, I personally think that's it. The fittings are from color fittings. Uh, I think I covered everything. I, I believe I covered everything. Uh, right hand drive, throttle cable from K Tune. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> Hopefully, I ain't missed none. If I did, my bad. But yeah, this is the coupe. This is the coupe. And I think I did a. A decent rundown but just in case i forget let me say it one more time what's done to the motor uh full type r full swap motor gearbox ferrera 6000 series 30 millimeter valves titanium retainers dual valve springs 11 5 to 1 aries pistons uh rods with, with upgraded wrist pins uh drag cartel time and chain guides crank pulley key weight thing skunk two time and cover dampering electric water pump from tough fab uh vibrant clamps i'm pretty sure that that's everything man that's everything future plans for this car i don't know i've been I've been thinking about right hand drive, uh, not right hand drive. I've been thinking about all wheel drive, but 
I don't, I don't like mix and matching and stuff and doing a cheap route. So I'm looking at it. She's gonna cost like ten to fifteen thousand to right hand drive it the correct way, the way that I wanted. Not right hand drive, all wheel drive, the way that I want it to be done. So I don't know yet. Uh, I don't really see the point of it because I don't really race a car. I did all that racing stuff when I was young. I, I personally just like to drive and enjoy it. You know, do a little punch here and there, you know, feel the car, but. I'm not gonna go out my way to say, hey, bro, I wanna run you. Or if anybody come up to me, race. No, that's not me. Uh, shout out to all of my sponsors, Downstar, Skunk2, Vibrant, Aus, Aus Injectors, Hybrid Racing, Level 7, Keen Fab, Half Sport. Like, all y'all. Level 7, uh, Reaction coilovers, uh, Javi, my tuner, uh, everybody that was a part of this build, I appreciate you all. Got everybody on the back of the glass here. Downstar action, reaction, uh, downstar action, reaction, os, MPC, MPC. Shout out to them too. Uh, but I think that's it, man. I really do think that's it. I really do think that's it. Level seven for the for the catch can for the valve cover. D8 spotter coating for powder coating the valve cover. Last coating for powder coating the turbo. Skunk two. I'm probably just repeating myself over and over and over. Akeem, Akeem Fab from doing from doing the custom custom catch can up pipes in the cooler. Vibrant for supplying everything from the clamps to the to the tubing uh yeah man i think that's it i personally think that's it but that's her that's how she sits yeah man next up would be getting that custom plate made and uh I don't know yet. I don't know about the whole whole all-wheel drive thing. Seems like it's gonna cost me way too much. So until next time, which is probably going to be uh, Dreamfest, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.